Hi and welcome to another episode on this channel and today I'm going to do an introduction and a first look at the Revolution 1.5 person tent from Big Sky International. I will go through the specs, the features and see how it pitches. If you have seen my previous videos, you know that I've been using the Hilleberg Enan for a long time now. I really love that tent, but although a one-person tent is nice, compact and lightweight, it is not very spacious. So I wanted to try something different. The main reason for changing is the space. I wanted something bigger and more roomier. Secondly, I wanted a freestanding tent and last but not least I wanted a tent that could cope with condensation a little bit better. After some research I found the Big Sky Revolution 1.5 person tent. Now let's pitch the tent. The Revolution 1.5 is a small two-person double wall two vestibule tent that pitches with the inner attached to the outer. So a dry pitch and perfect for wet conditions. It is very easy and quick to pitch and when the poles and clips are in place you can lift the entire tent with one hand and place it in the best spot. At a minimum it requires two pegs and that is for the two vestibules. The outer is a 15D Super Seal Ultralight Nylon Ripstop fabric that is coated on both sides with silicone for extra strength. And the bathtub floor, a 15D silicone PU coated nylon ripstop fabric, non slip and seam taped. If we take a closer look at the drawing, you can see that the measures just allow for two standard 51 cm sleeping pads if needed, but I would say it is mainly a one person tent. The internal height is really good 100 cm so you get plenty of headroom. The inner tent is only 213 centimeters long and they say it is made for people with a maximum length of 185 centimeters and I can totally agree to that. The poles are duck featherlight NFL 8.7 millimeter poles and the design are a bit odd with clips rather than a sleeve but it is not the only tent I've seen with this design. If you add a peg in every corner and the two vestibules, you need six pegs. If you then add the pegs on the sides and guy lines at the extra guy at points, you need a total of 12 pegs. There are two top vents you can open for good cross ventilation. The vestibule doors can be opened separately and can be attached for the full side to be open to give a spectacular view out from the tent. The vestibules are big and high thanks to the added cross pole. For the inner I chose the solid option and it opens up for big and easy entrance. In the two doors you have the possibility to open up to be a 40% mesh for better ventilation. Inside the tent we have four pockets for gear and in the ceiling a lot of loops for adding guy lines to hang a lantern or just your socks. Inside there's plenty of room for my wide X-therm and additional gear. And the length, for me who are 180 cm long, is not a problem. One nice thing is that you can sit up and move around in the tent like when changing clothes with no problem. The space you have inside this tent it's amazing. The tent comes with everything included. A nice compactable stuff sack, eight pegs in a bag and three tent poles. To that, and what I do recommend buying, is the guy line and peg kit that you use for the four extra guy points on the tent. That gives the tent added strength and stability in higher winds. I paid about 5,000 Swedish crowns for this tent. The Total weight of this tent, including the added guy lines, is 1340 grams. So a lightweight tent, but not ultra light. But in the category for freestanding tents, or for freestanding two-person tents, I think it's a good weight. 
The tent pitches with a minimum of two pegs, like I said, but if you add the maximum of 12 pegs, you add 120 grams to the total weight. My first impressions of this tent are that it is well built and has a lot of good features. I am also convinced it will perform well out on the trail and give me that extra space and comfort I was looking for. How it will cope with the wind and rain? Well, only time can tell. Now, I am going to use this tent as the last minute change for Fjellöven Classic Sweden. That event is already this week, so when this video is released, I am already on my way up to that event. So do follow me on Instagram for daily pics and vids if possible. That's it for today and for the first look at the Revolution 1.5 from Big Sky. If you have any questions to me regarding the tent, just post a comment down below and I'll come back to you as soon as I can. Also, don't forget to subscribe to support this channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos and thumbs up if you like this video. And I will see you next week. Bye bye!